Hey, what's going on, family? Today, we're going to talk about this article right here. 75% of Solana transactions are failing because there's bots that's dominating the swap count. Now, how far can this particular blockchain go if you're going to have continual bots up here congest uh, congesting the network? Like, let's be for real. Where will Solana go if they cannot resolve this issue, this problem? Where will other people who wants to develop cryptocurrencies and projects on blockchains go if they cannot get what they want? Because inevitably, they're going to leave. They're going to move. They're going to go to another particular blockchain that can do exactly what they needed to do when they create their protocols. This seems to be like a continual narrative being thrown out into the cryptocurrency community about Solana. Solana cannot hold their transactions. Let's go into this article real quick. The Solana blockchain is experiencing a high rate of failed transactions amid massive trading volume that has led to network congestion. Wow. It's been a hard day for users of Solana, the high speed blockchain that has seen explosive growth over the last few weeks. If it's really high speed, then how in the world is the network becoming congested? Does that make sense? If it's high speed, then that should mean that there should not be no network congestion going on. There should not be any failed transactions occurring on the blockchain if it is truly a high speed blockchain. With three out of the four transactions on the network failing to execute as planned. Data from Dune, compiled by user scorn underscore ETH, shows that 75.3% of non-vote transactions on Solana had failed on April the 4th. Here it is April the 7th. A non-vote transaction refers to a movement of Solana between different Solana accounts. Critics took aim at the blockchain over its claim of scalability as they argue Solana was not a scalable, as scalable as promoted since it has experienced high levels of congestion coinciding with an increase in usage. So the more that people come on and use Solana, the more congested the network gets. Are you a critic or are you a fan of Solana? If you're a fan of Solana, then explain to everyone in the comment section, how can you fix this quote unscalable solution? What is the solution? Because critics are taking aim at the blockchain. They're saying that, OK, I understand that Solana is trying to promote themselves as being one of the fastest blockchains on the market. But if they cannot complete transactions, then what's the point of being fast? Meanwhile, Solana proponents noted that the volume and unique users on the network had exploded by a factor of 10, arguing that periods of extreme congestions were, quote, part of the process right they always got to find a scapegoat some way somehow they got to make it not seem as bad as what it is this is terrible it's part of the process it should not be part of the process we don't want it to be part of the process because you don't know whether or not your transaction will be failed or not what do you mean part of the process but you're promoting yourself as being one of the fastest blockchains on the market and this is part of the process you want people just to accept that no no can't do that if you want to be the blockchain of choice for the world it cannot be part of the process the uptick in failed transaction comes at a time when trading volumes on solana are booming largely driven by the interest in trading meme coins, some of which are associated with questionable themes. The meme coin hype is likely responsible for trading activity that has been dominated by bots, which spam the network in an attempt to make an arbitrage trade. The problem, however, is that when this arbitrage doesn't exist, the smart contract does not respond as expected and the transaction is not successfully executed. Uh oh, you got people out here trying to grab these meme coins, trying to make a quick buck, but then their transactions aren't being fully successful. And then they're sitting there with the bag wondering, OK, did I get my trade or not? Trying to make a quick trade. If you're trying to have a blockchain to hold the trillions of dollars being transacted on stock exchanges today, you will understand that there would be many more bots, many more arbitrage trades that go on. And you, you're trying to tell me that 
Solana cannot even hold on to the small amount of trade that they're trying to do now. Scoring underscore ETH data also shows that bots dominated the number of swaps on Solana at the time of writing, accounting for about 55% of the total swap count or $30.2 million of the total volume. Quote, take Solana transaction volume with a bowl of salt. I believe I've used rather forgiving parameters in measuring bots, end quote, says Skern underscore ETH when first creating the Dune dashboard in December. Helix Lab CEO Mert Montaz explained that bots spam better than humans, meaning that its users' transactions end up getting dropped given that a block leader can only handle so many transactions at once. Everyone's trying to throw in their presumptions, their theories as to what's really going on in Solana. They need to fix it. Because what about the next bull run? What about the next move that cryptocurrencies or the next invention of cryptocurrency comes onto the market and everyone wants to utilize Solana? Then the increase in traffic occurs again. Will we go through this continually? Do you guys know if Solana, the foundation, is actually trying to work a solution? Because everyone is quick to throw darts and throw fingers at people, but who's working on the solution? Can this be solved? Because network congestion cannot happen. That's a must. It cannot happen. Because it's going to throw people away from the blockchain. It's going to move people out from Solana's blockchain, the community, and push them to another community that doesn't have that issue, that doesn't have that problem. There's a tweet right there for Mert. The network stack QUIC on Solana is implemented poorly and does not handle spam well. If everyone spams, a lot of connections get dropped since a block leader can only handle so many connections at once. So maybe th if that's the problem, then the solution would be to allow the block leader to handle more connections. Simple, right? Are you a programmer? Are you a coder? Can you implement that on the Solana blockchain real quick? If that's truly the issue as to why transactions are being dropped and failed, By the way, that failed transactions chart that keeps showing up is not a good way of assessing user impact as most users don't make it there to begin with. They get dropped before they are on chain. About 95% of that entire chart is just bots failing arbitrage attempts. So even the bots are getting upset. They're out there trying to make trades on these exchanges and they're getting failed. So they do it again. And then they do it again and then thereby increases the block traffic. So now let's talk about the price action then. How do you think the market is taking the massive congestion that is occurring on Solana network? These failed transactions. Do you think the market is really caring about that right now? I mean, because we look at the price chart, Solana is just trading within a trading range. It's not bad. It's not negative. If people seem like people are used to this, if they wasn't, then you all would say that the market would have went down. It would have plummeted off that news, seeing 75% of these transactions failing. You would expect the price action at least to show something of that sort. That occurred, that article came out on April the 4th, right here. Okay, like, did you see anything really happen to the market on that day? Even the day after, yes, price went down in Solana 5%, five, five but it came right back up. So maybe the market in Solana is still pretty bullish. What do you guys think? Here it is on the two. Now, one thing I need to tell you, I got to keep it real. You guys can see how this is our first time price got rejected on our sell zone. And this is our second time. You know what that means. The chances of seeing Solana break out, it is dwindling. So you can see the zones between where the sellers are, sellers are up there at the top, 
and the buyers in Solana are down here at the bottom right there who wants it more that's what this is gonna end up being who wants it the most here's Solana on the three does that look like the buyers want it more or does it look like the sellers want it more what about on the five here it is on the weekly two weeks three one hour and a 330 minute chart to me i think the sellers want it more yep i know you guys didn't want to hear that if you're looking for the price it's allowed to go up so what i'm going to do is i'm going to get rid of this price predicts here and i'm going to play a forecast of looking for Solana to go down in price. So if we were to get out now, we'll be down 6%. Uh, hopefully he was able to grab some of that bag in the market in Solana when it came up here to our sell zone. About six and a quarter percent there. So let me put this on the chart and then I'll let you all go. We got a couple of targets. As long as the price in Solana stays below this sell zone right here, we're gonna look for price to have a greater chance of going down. I'm not saying that it will go down substantially. We may just see it bounce again off of this buy zone. So that is going to be our first target. Like I'm not crazy. I can see that. I can see that buyers may pop back in and say, let me buy Solana around $160. Let me buy that $165. So that's one of our targets, either at the high or the low of that buy zone. At the low, it gives us what, 12%? 11 and a half percent then i'm going to take it to our second buy zone either at the high or the low at the lows give us around 24 percent move there that's it i'm done give me your thoughts make sure you maintain the profitability and as always trade different